Hey everyone, I want to go over a couple of things about using Google Voice instead of your personal phones. Um, this is a good way to have a phone that's available for students to both call and text without having to give out your personal number. And this is also available on the computer, which is really nice. So you don't have to worry about adding anything to your phone. Um, so to sign up, you're going to go to voice.google.com and you're going to follow all of their procedures for signing in and signing up and that kind of thing. Um, at one point it is going to ask you if you, um, it, it's going to ask you to actually add this to your personal phone number. Um, you have to do that for sign up, but I'm going to show you how to turn it off from ringing on your phone. So no worries. So use your personal phone number to sign up with this, um, but then I'm going to teach you how to take it off of your personal phone. Okay, so um, at one point, it is going to ask you for your zip code. When you do that, um, it's going to try to pull a phone number close to your zip code. The closest number available this morning for my zip code was Connecticut. Um, so it's probably not going to be a 904 number. You will need to copy that phone number down so that you can give that to students. But just in case, if you ever forget it, um, it will be up here on your screen, as you can see. Okay, so a couple of things about using Google Voice. So if I want to call from my computer, I simply um, hit this, <clears throat> the phone icon on the left-hand side. I'm going to type in the phone number that I want to call, and I'm going to click the phone button. It is going to go through my computer, so I do recommend that you use a headset just so it blocks out some of the external noise. Um, but this will actually make a phone call through your computer from this number, not your personal number, from this number. Okay, you can also text from Google Voice. Uh, you just click this text icon. You click send a new text message. You type in the name that you want or the phone number, um, and then there'll be a place down here for you to send the message. You could type a message and then click send. So it's super easy. It's very user friendly, which I like. Um, if someone calls you, it is going to call to your computer. So your computer will actually ring uh, with a with a ringing sound and you can answer it simply by, um, there'll be a pop-up that will come up and you can actually um, just click answer on it. Um, I told you earlier that you do have to sign up using your personal phone number. If you wanna make it not ring to your personal phone number, you just come down here and you choose web and you take off this device um, if you don't want it to ring to your personal phone number. So you can just remove that device so that it won't call there. Um, it does have a voicemail that you can add to it. I definitely suggest that you do that. So you're just going to come over here to the left. So again, I'm under the settings that was up here, the cog wheel. I'm now under voicemail and I, you can record a short greeting. Um, and that's what your voicemail um, will be whenever the kids call. There is a do not disturb button which I like. Um, you can actually turn on to not ring during certain hours, which is really cool. Um, I believe it's this one. Um, you can connect it to your calendar so that if you're in a meeting, it won't ring, which is really cool. Um, it says that there's billing history, but this is free, so you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. Let's see. I was trying to think of everything that you might want to see on here. Um, I think those are the basics, but if you have any questions, um, my email is attached to this recording. Um, so if you have any questions, you can always email me and I'll also put my um, Google Voice number on there for you. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.